Okay. And then there was that one other spot that I saw that also needed one of those water guys. Okay, we already did the music note. I do see some more purple coins over here. I'll we'll grab those real quick. I can't get them from out here. There we go. Okay. And then we wanted to go this way. I don't remember exactly where it was. Was it right there? Is that the one we were just in? I think it is, but I didn't get those purple coins up there, so we'll get those now. Okay, and then head over this way. Where was it? Right there? That that looks right. Also, probably something in there. Yeah, it was right here. It's Cat Mario. Oh! Ride the jet stream. Okay, and then let's go in that water and see where that cave leads us. Hello. That's a lot of treasure chests. One, two, three, four. Got it. Oh! Okay. So it was what? One, two, oh shoot, three? I uh, failed the memory game. We got it this time. One, two, three, four. Treasure trap hidden in the inlet. Okay. I think... Now it's time to head over to that volleyball thing and see what's going on over there. Alright, let's check out this, this whole thing here. Let's play. Oh, okay. Oh, I just jumped right into it. Okay. How hard is this going to be? Well, that seems like it could be pretty tricky, but it seems like as long as I get into the shadow, I don't have to be too accurate as to where I'm standing. Yeah. So I'm guessing 10 is going to be a moon and then probably 100 again. I don't know, this seems a lot a lot more time consuming than the jump rope, so maybe it'll be less than 100 for the second moon. Then again, we didn't get one at 10, so I don't know. Was it 20? Fifteen, okay. The ball is coming in too fast, you can throw me to return it. Hmm. I don't know how precise I would have to be. Okay. So we made it to 20 on our first go around. 
Beach Volleyball. Champ. Alright, I'll try this one more time. See how it goes. Different camera angle. I don't know if that's going to be useful at all. I'm curious how Cappy would work out here. Okay. So I probably do at least need to be facing the right direction to use Cappy. But if it's way too far away, it's worth a shot. No idea where it's going to be each time, so I feel like kind of returning to the center makes the most sense, so I can get anywhere. I'm not running from one side to the other. I'm sure people have gotten some pretty crazy scores in this. This game's been out a long time. Although, looking at the uh, the jump rope scores, I do think that people are cheating. Because there are people with, what, 99,999? Or maybe even 999,999? I don't remember. Well, that was close. 24. 25. I think my goal is to fail right at... Yeah, okay. Uh, do I give it one more shot? I'll give it one more shot. So yeah, what's my goal here? I think I would love to get to 50. That's going to take some time. I don't, I don't do this too often on this channel, but uh, it might be time for a volleyball montage. Every speed up makes it a little... Oh, okay. Oh, so... It seems like they give you, like, half a second leeway. If it hits the ground, you can still bop it. Okay. Okay. Happy coming in a little bit clutch on some of these. I mean, super clutch, actually. That actually makes it way easier just to rely on Cappy. I don't even have to run around. All right, we can at least get 50 here. No! I. Why did I open my mouth? Why did I open my mouth? All right, let's check out these leaderboards. Sure, why not? Seven hundred and seven thousandth place. Oof. Okay. So, is that it for this zone? Is that all we want to do? If I notice anything between here and the Odyssey, I'll check it out. But I think I'm just going to head back now. Move on to the next zone. Alright. Quite a few more than we needed. I'm good with that. So we needed 147 to move on, and we got 157. So we had 10 extra. Odyssey's been powered up. On to the Luncheon Kingdom. Bowser can't run forever. Do we get lunch? All right, let's do it. I kind of wish Mario had a few different animations here. Seems like he does the same thing every time, but that's that's fine. So, Bowser wants to make a toast using sparkle water. Sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. 
Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, long jump. When you want to jump really far, or if you want to zoom even faster than you can by running, run, crouch, and then jump. You'll do a long jump and sail ahead. Well, there it is. We should read up on the Lunching Kingdom next. It says here this country is famous for using a volcano to prepare a dish called Stupendous Stew. Luncheon Kingdom, Mount Volbano. It's very pink. The Brutals are after some cooking. All right. My goodness, they're here, the Brutals. What are these? Oh. Can I do anything with this? Coins? Okay. I'm guessing there will probably be some glowy ones that will give us some some moons. Can I get these? Hmm. Seems like not. What about this? Anything in these? Nope. Okay. We got some Goombas. Uh, what are these platforms? Those are... Looks look, look, look to be possibly exploding tomatoes. Are they gonna explode or are they just angry? So this is all kinds of all kinds of vegetables. We got corn on the cob over here. Is this like a log roll? It is? Okay, that's intense. Hi! Oh we, we're missing one. Or two? No, it looks like one would do it. Jeez. Okay, well, so much for those Goombas. Uh, we got Potaboos. Oh, I can capture them. Okay. Okay, so Shaking just dashes faster, but they get pretty good jump there. And they can't survive on land. That makes sense. Aha! We stole a whole boatload of this place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. But I'm gonna head back up to the volcano to finish off that stew. After I'm done with you! Or, or, we're fighting already? Okay. Did not see that coming. Alright, one hit down. Whee! Sure. Okay, so I can knock him off of his trajectory. I don't know if that's useful in any way. Ow. All right, two hits down. Just keep him over there. Or not. Just make, make quick work of this guy. Nice. It's a blue moon. Yahoo! The Brutals are after some cooking. All right, and we got ourselves a platform. Under the Cheese Rocks. This looks like a cool zone. I like the aesthetic. It's, it's neat. I never really understood what pulling up those posts is supposed to do. I see the hat door down there. You know what? 
Let's go do that right now. So I don't forget it. Okay. Nothing over here. Okay. Is this just a timed platform? Seems like it. So we just gotta time stuff out as good as I can. Uh, didn't miss any moons. Oh, there is one on top of that piranha over there. Ow. Okay. It's fine. Get off, get off, get off. I guess if I just stand in the middle, I'm probably fine. All right, Riz. Come on, Riz, get it together. From the top. Yeah, if you just jump to the middle, you're fine. For some reason, I wasn't putting it together that you could survive on the middle hump there. Okay, there we go. Magma Swamp, floating and sinking. Was that everything here? I think it was. Unless, oh, it was not. There's another one over there. How do I get over there? Yikes. Oh, okay. They just uh, don't show you that at the beginning, so it's easy to miss. Well... <laughs> uh, well, it'll start us off right back there, right? So... Sure, I lost some coins. I'm okay with it. Corner of the Magma Swamp. I had a feeling I was gonna get burned on the way back there. I'm trying to rush. I'm trying to rush. Not, not helping out. I probably could just go back out the entrance door. But I don't know if the exit door is gonna put me somewhere else that would be more or less beneficial to what I'm trying to do. So let's just, let's just play it cool. Much better. Okay. Okay. Probably wouldn't have mattered.